perfect. Morning everyone and welcome to another mindful morning meditation. Um, what we're going to do this morning is we're going to wait for the sun to rise. It should rise just behind me in this gap. Um, but before that, we we'll take some questions. So if anyone's got any questions this morning, please do start asking them. Um, and yeah, I'm just grateful to be here with you all again this morning and excited to enjoy another mindful meditation moment with you in the bush. Good evening, Pam. Um, I'm glad you've joined us again. It's always great to have you. So this morning, I really also want to talk about self-love and how important it is for us to find that and manifest that within ourselves. And I'm going to be relating it to... Sorry. Um, I'm going to be relating this to elephants this morning and how elephants nurture themselves and how important it is for them to to look after themselves and then in order once they've looked after themselves they're able to look after the rest of the herd um, so yeah the, the sunrise should be in about five minutes time it should start rising it rises between seven and and sort of eight minutes past six so let's wait for it and, and enjoy this beautiful beautiful sunrise here in Africa Yes, Pam, it should be perfect lying down. Um, I'm actually was thinking about doing possibly a body scan this morning meditation, which will be great for a migraine. Um, and, and yeah, it's something that's different. So before we get to the meditation, can I ask you all just to make sure that you've got um, a nice, comfortable, either your yoga mat or a bed, somewhere that you can also put your feet down on the ground remember last time I spoke about grounding yourself and how important that is so again just to make sure that you can ground yourself throughout the body scan and what we'll be doing this morning is, is I will stay seated but I'll encourage all of you just to lie down on your mats with your blanket if you've got a blanket and um, if your room's nice and warm and you don't need the blanket then that's okay you don't need one and we'll go through a nice body scan meditation this morning So how important is self-love is something that I often, <coughs> excuse me, often ask myself. And <coughs> it's only recently that I've really learned just how important it is and how having your mind in a, a good space is something that takes us through every day in a much happier way. Um, and much like how we treat our physical bodies, um, if we go to the gym a lot, we train, we work out, we, you know, if you're mindful, you'll eat correctly, good, healthy, wholesome foods. And when your body is in peak physical condition, it allows you to do more, to achieve more. Um, and with that comes the mind and how important it is for the mind to be in the same space. So meditation for me is, is similar to gym for the body. It's, it's gym for the mind and it's a way of really... Um, just nurturing yourself and getting yourself into a good headspace, which allows you to go throughout your day in a much happier, um, better frame of mind. Tom, greetings from California. Welcome. Um, it's an absolute pleasure, and I really do hope you guys enjoy the sunset, the sunrise this morning. It is absolutely breathtaking. Um, so back to what I was saying about being in a, in a mindful space and, and how important it is and how I've seen this within my guiding career here in Africa. Um, with elephants in particular, they are such um, huge animals and, and they take up such a big space when you're, when you're with them, especially in a herd environment. And for me, it's, it's so important with elephants. If you look at an elephant who is say let's take an elephant bull in must for example now must is a state of, of sexual arousal that they go through um, when a lot of testosterone is pumping through their bodies and they tend to lose their mind um, in a more yeah like comical way of saying it but what happens is they'll become really aggressive they're unpredictable they're dangerous um, they are always on the defensive side of things as to say if we, we look at it as a human characteristic 
And that is like us before we found a moment of mindfulness or meditation where we can calm the mind. We're constantly in our mind. Um, you know, it's a dangerous place to find ourselves because the thoughts take you down that rabbit hole and you can get further and further away and more anxiety starts building up. Uh, and, and once that elephant has passed the stage and he comes back into normal, you know, just a normal state with normal testosterone back in his body, he is the most powerful, one of the most powerful creatures out here in Africa and in the world, in fact. And once he's in that calm state, you can see how just how powerful this animal is. And being in his presence is truly, truly remarkable. You know, with that clear mind, he's able to, to control so much more. The general sort of power that he has within himself from pushing down a tree, moving through the bushes, um, the respect that he gains with within other younger elephants that are around him. Um, so just by putting ourselves into that mind frame, it enables us as humans to, to take control of the outcome and the reactions that we have in certain situations. Um, and this is what mindfulness teaches us. It's not about not having a thought, but it's about having that awareness before when the thought is occurring and the way we react and the way that we um, yeah, the way that we react with that certain decision at that time, um, which is so important. And I think when we do that, it's truly a moment of awareness and power, for me especially, is being able to just control those outcomes. I'm just going to see if there's any questions. Good afternoon in Australia, I see. Um, yes, morning for us, afternoon for you. Good afternoon, everyone in Australia. Um, perfect. So, okay, so we've had no questions, which is great. <laughs> um, and like I was saying ab about how the mind affects us on a daily basis. I find that when we are in a good mental state, we're able to feed ourselves better from everything, from information that we gain, from people around us, from the food that we eat. Um, and in doing so, it just creates more love and energy as to say our energetic field is at a higher vibration. And by doing this, I feel that we inspire others around us. Um, you know, and, and this time in particular for me is social distancing, which was, is what we've gone into, is something that's very unusual for us as humans. Um, we're used to being in contact with other people, chatting, being around people, much like an elephant herd, always, you know, they're big herds. But often elephant herds will split up when it gets too big. And I feel that this is the world's way of kind of just making us take in the fact that when we come out of the social distancing, we need to be more grateful and more present in the moments that we share with loved ones and with friends and, and not just that, but general people that we pass on the street, you know, a simple smile from having just a simple smile to somebody you pass on the road makes their day better. I don't know if you've ever experienced that where you're walking down the road and somebody just smiles at you randomly and you're like, ha, huh, you get this warm and fuzzy feeling. And by being able to do that, I feel that we'll just change our small world around us and by changing something so small we can have a it's like a ripple effect in the water if you drop a stone it starts with a small ripple and eventually it becomes a massive ripple till it reaches the shores and kindness really starts with being kind to ourselves and yeah you just you really need to learn to to love yourself and appreciate yourself and constantly come back to you know who we are and, and what our calling is and, and what we are here for. And the more you are in touch with yourself and with your, your mental being, the more you are able to achieve, achieve the self-love and, and the more you're able to accept yourself for who you are. You know, we go through life, um, are we pretty enough? Are we skinny enough? 
Um, all these questions come up as, as we go through life. And the more we are in a good mental state, the more we are able to accept this about ourselves. Um, and yeah, for me, it's just been an incredible journey reaching the point that I have. Um, it's taken a long time, um, but definitely worth it. Sorry, I seem to have lost uh, my connection, so I'm just going to try to get back on. I know maybe it's just the Wi-Fi, yeah, I've lost Wi-Fi connection. So maybe it'll come back and I can join. So apologies if there are any questions, I'm going to be able to see them at, the, at this time. Um, but yeah, so, so let's just let Brett and the crew leave. They are on their way out this morning to go and see if they can find some sort of animals. Bye-bye. <laughs> Enjoy. I think they are on the search of lions this morning. I'm not wrong. Yep, so they are off to go and Oh, we eggs. And so you can see now this beautiful red glow that's starting to appear. The sun should be coming up any moment now. Um, and then we're just going to, well, I'll just allow you guys to enjoy that sunrise. Um, and I will probably turn around and enjoy it with you. But let's see if Eggsy can get me back onto the live chat with you all. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, and, and the moment we start truly loving ourselves is the moment that we can love others. And I think that is so important. Here comes Eggsy, he's fixed it. <laughs> okay, we're back. Um, see who else is there any questions yes elephants they truly are unique and caring um, they just they are such special creatures and like I said to you in a lot of um, religious well should I say cultures um, elephants represent luck and you'll see some of the, the, the Buddha statues or, or gods as we may know them are she's got an elephant head and this is why because elephants really do represent luck and they represent spiritual growth and there's a lovely little story in, in, in Buddhism culture that says that your mind like I was talking about earlier is a grey elephant which is wild and ferocious and dangerous and once we start learning to master our mind and, and be more in the moment, it turns into a white elephant, which represents peace um, and, and calmness. So way back in ancient years, you can see how important elephants are in the realms of spirituality. Um, there's also an ancient stove, stone carving. I did write it down. Let me see where I can find it. Um, from the Greek times on a tabletop that speaks about elephants um, and I found it quite profound that they had written about them in Greece um, which must have been somebody who was on their travels and had come across them in Africa um, so, so it says Pluto once told me everything I need to know can be seen in an elephant um, and to me that is that is so true if you just spend time with elephants and hopefully you've been on a safari or you'll come on a safari one day and you'll see the true power that elephants really do have and they are just unbelievably like you say who, who did mean who commented on that um, I just want to see Tom uh, yes so it was Tom who said they are really really are such caring individuals and I think we can learn a lot 
from them during this time to care for others. Uh, there's lots of people out there that, that need help. And again, show gratitude to all those that are fighting on the forefront of this coronavirus. I said it in my last meditation, I'm gonna say it again. Um, let's all just give them a moment throughout our busy days, just take, take a few moments to, to really show them gratitude and, and send them some energy. It's a tough job that they're doing out there. And there we go. The sun has started to rise. So I'm just going to let you guys enjoy this. I'm going to face the other way and let's just enjoy this. And once it's up, then we can, we'll start off with our meditation. Whoops. And this is a true, um, just with that cloud, exactly where it is, it reminds me of the Lion King, um, when it's the party, where it's the circle of life, as that sun rises. I'm going to bring my iPad and see if there are any questions as I sit here, but otherwise I think let's just really enjoy the sunrise. First bird calling far away, yes, that's the great of the bush tribe, for the spook fowl. Spook means ghost in the hands. So nice to see how many of you know your birds and all the, all the bird calls that I'm getting this morning. It's awesome. And a lot of you are correct. There is a fact that Emil got a wood dove calling. There is the go to the bush life. Um, white browed robin chat, somebody said. Um, yeah, there's loads of, of different birds. Red colored barbet. Um, I think you guys are hearing a lot more than, than what I am. Concentrating on what I'm saying. <laughs> Kalena, yes, indeed, elephants are the guardian angels of the bush. Um, just very, very special creatures. Every sunrise, it always reminds me that it's a chance to be born again, a chance to really live life. And in these times, it's just taught me that if there's something you want to do, you've got to do it. There is no perfect time. Um, the time is now. And just for each day to really relish in the presence of it and just really be grateful that that we've been given the gift to live this day and that at any time it could be our last day and just to really really go out there and do the things that we want to do you know and I know that we can find a lot of us are confined to our houses but still just do those things you know for me I've now started studying and, and really just gone on a much deeper self journey and it's, it's been um, Amazing in many, many ways. Hmm. Seems like my chat has gone offline this way. 
I'm just going to turn around and let you guys enjoy it and try and get my chat back. Sorry, we are a bit far from the house, so uh, I know that if I move too much, my chat gets lost and my connection gets lost. So I'll see if it can come back again. And how many, this is a question for all of you. Um, would you prefer to do a sort of body scan meditation this morning? Or would you prefer to do a self-love meditation? Um, something that will take us to a point of, of just really enjoying and, and sending ourselves a little love. So you answer that and then we'll go into that meditation shortly. See if we can get me back online. Nah. My Wi-Fi seems to have disappeared. Wi-Fi. <laughs> South Africa, we always know. You always know it's a South African. It's Wi-Fi. High five. <laughs> um, I always catch myself giggling because I'm actually from Zimbabwe. So when I do say them, I think to myself, I've been here for way too long. Um, Zander's coming to help me again. I think he just needs to take the iPad a little bit further so that it can connect decently. So Charles is, is with me and he's just said that there's... Ah, oh, it's back. Never mind. Thanks, Sander. Um, Charles has just said that no one has answered. So self-love meditation. There we go. Self-love. Perfect. I think we all need a little self-love this morning um, to take us through our day. So now that the sun is up and, and nice and bright and red in the sky... Um, KJ <coughs> Coop 03. I've got, I'm going to have to go with self love, unfortunately. We've got two for self love and one for body scan. So at this stage, I think self love is going to have to outweigh body scan. But don't worry, possibly on Thursday evening, we could do the body scan meditation. Um, or possibly, if you would really like, I could um, upload a body scan meditation to YouTube and you can do it yourselves while sitting at home um, with the beautiful setting of Africa and, and the calls that we hear here. Hi, Tim. Tim is saying hi to Miss Scrambles, I think. Hello, Tim. There we go. Um, Self-love. Okay, body scan. So guys, I think let's go with the self-love this morning. Otherwise, we're going to end up going through the chats and, and we'll get more and more and obviously it'll become more conflicting. So the first one to come through was self-love. So like I say, let's go with self-love and we can either do a body scan on Thursday or we can do it, I will we'll, we'll do one here for you and we can pop it up on YouTube and you are more than welcome to go and watch it in your own time. So. As we get ready for this, can I ask you all just to please find yourself, like I said right in the beginning, a mat, yoga mat, or um, anywhere that you would like to lie down. Again, I'm going to be seated. I'm not going to lie down. And guys, please, I'm not by any means a, a mindfulness teacher. I, I barely, I am just teaching from my heart. It's, it's. I believe it's what I should be doing. And so, yeah, this is. It's, it's me, it's not what is meant to be, it's not um, as, say, the law. It, it is just me speaking from my heart and, yeah, I hope you guys just enjoy it. So, like I was saying, just make sure you've got something comfortable to lie down on. I'm going to be seated and a blanket to possibly cover yourself with. If you'd like to light an incense, I always find it really helps with, with, with any meditation that I do. I light an incense or I light... Um, a little smudge or a San Paolo stick just for a little bit of smell um, and, and it just helps me really calm down and get to that place so yeah if we all ready I think let's let's start getting into into position here so you can like I say either lie down um, or stay seated uh, I am going to be seated so if I can ask you all just to take a deep, deep breath in, and as you do this, just feel yourself melting into the floor. So if you're lying down um, or, or, or sitting, just feel that your tailbone really melts into the floor or your back, um, and just 
feel your breath into your body and this life force this is what what gives us life um, and as we take this breath just fill it with a color imagine a color whatever color comes to mind give this breath a color and as you breathe in let it fill your heart let it go into the depths of your heart down down to the bottom to the tiny dark corners and it may be slow it may be quick so as we breathe in breathe it into our hearts and let our hearts slowly fall and see this color start becoming brighter and brighter in your heart and as it rises to the top of your heart the brighter the color comes and the feeling let it have a feeling um, whatever whatever feels right to you and breathe it in and as you breathe out I want you to imagine the color exiting through your mouth and breathe in again and out lengthen through your crown the top of your head make yourself long make sure your feet are grounded And with this breath in, I want you to come on a journey with me. So imagine yourself walking down a tiny little path, a path that's been made by animals. A game path. And as you walk down this path, I want you to notice what's around you. The sounds, the smells. And just how beautiful everything is. And as you go further down this path, notice what it feels like for your feet to be hitting the ground. Take your gaze up from the ground and look down the path, right to the end of the path. And at the end of the path, I want you all to see your child, yourself as a child, the child version of you. I want you to continue walking towards her or him. And I want you to have a smile on your face and this love in your heart. <laughs> and whatever color was filling your heart, I wanted to have a beam coming out of your heart, a um, big beam that's directed straight towards this little inner child of yours. <clears throat> now you're getting closer to her or him. Just keep walking and just really with lots of love, kindness, compassion. all being pushed in, in, in her, his or her direction. I want you to hold out your arms or you can sit next to her or him. But now the two of you are together. And as we sit here or stand next to our inner child, I want you to either hold hands or hug each other and 
the next 10 minutes I'm going to be silent but I want you to as your inner child I want the inner child to speak to the you now the you that stands there before him or her and I want you to imagine what this inner child would say to you as a child with no judgment without society um, just a pure form of a spirit just imagine the conversation that you will have now and I want you to have this conversation open-heartedly and just listen to what your inner child is saying to you You are worthy of all the love that you can give yourself. You truly are a blessing. You are an individual on this earth that has a great cause. And no two causes are the same. You are amazing. You deserve all the love in the world. You will achieve great things. You are my hero. I love you. Life is tough, but so are you. You can conquer and overcome anything. You are and do inspire others.
like you all just to hug your inner child. Just imagine their arms around you. And if you want, you can cross your arms around your own body and just give yourself a big hug. And in this moment, just really say to yourself, I love you. I truly, truly love you. And that you are amazing. And I will always be here for me. When times are hard, I'll look inward to my inner child to support and guide me with all the love that I deserve. And now I want you just to keep your arms wrapped around yourself um, and as you let go of this little inner child of yours, I want you to take a deep breath and when you're ready, thank him or her for showing up today, for being here. And if you want, you can give them one last big hug or squeeze. Just say I love you. When you're ready, just turn around. Start walking back up that path again. Listen to the sounds around you. Look at what you can see and feel. And as you take a few more steps away from your inner child, know exactly where they are and that any time you can return to them. Know the feeling that it felt when they gave you a hug. And take that with you as you wind yourself back up this little path. Take a deep breath in. I just want you to show gratitude for the moment that you've just shared with that inner child of yours. And as you do this, start wiggling your toes. Feel the sensations coming back into your body. Bring your thought, your mind, back into the room that you're sitting in. Or the garden, or the space. Start wiggling your fingers and let go of the embrace of hugging yourself. With another deep breath in, slowly open your eyes and lift your gaze. And as we sit here now, I just want you all to reflect on how special and individual each and every one of us are. Just enjoy that feeling of warmness that's been created by your inner child. And remember, you can always go there and revisit her, him, at any time. And as we go forward today, just before I look at the message, the, the messages that have come through, I just want you all to to really take this feeling forward with you and put it out there to others. So make some phone calls to the ones that you love and just really show them love today. 
and cultivate that inner love from deep, deep within. Just keep building on it. Um... So I was just trying to see, I see someone went to sleep, eagle, eagle's prey, yes, your pillow is calling, at least you will have a peaceful sleep this evening hopefully, I um, hope you enjoy your snooze. Thank you Tim. There's many ways to meditate, it just depends what works for you. And like I say, this is just something that really does work for me. Yes, lots of birds calling. <laughs> Teresa Roberts, there's a difference between ego and just showing your self-appreciation and love it's it's extremely important to get to a place of inner peace and love for oneself um, and that's definitely not ego Cheryl yes that's very true all that you are leads you to where you are I agree and thank you for being here with me today Bedtime in Washington. Sleep well. KJ Coop, 03. Spara, crying is good, emotions are good. Feel them. Um, very touching to know that, that it touched you so deeply. Charlene Coleman, it is a time of loneliness. Um, but always remember that inner child is within, is within you and you can reach out to them at any point. And I think more so today for those of us that um, may be on our own or are single um, in this time of social distancing, it is very difficult to be alone. Um, and my heart is with you all and I just send you all the energy and good vibrations that, that you need out there and hopefully we all come through this stronger and, and just a better race for it. Mia, yeah, of course you can practice this in your home, in your lounge, your bedroom, wherever you would like to practice it. Um, the mind can take you to wonderful places. Right guys, so now that we've come to the end, um, and yeah, I think it was something that even for myself this morning when I woke up I felt that I just needed to touch on self-love um, and I'm glad I could share it all with you and yeah thanks for being here again and, and I'm so grateful to all of you to taking the time to sharing an hour of your day with me um, I really really do appreciate it and again let's just in this hard time thank those that are fighting for us on the front line of the coronavirus all the doctors out there medical staff and the people who are helping the unfortunate, the less fortunate, the homeless. Um, let's just take time to thank all of them and really send our energy and our, our love their way. And before we go today, I just want you to remember, um, put your hands together, touch your head and say, all that I think today will be love for myself, 
touch your heart and all that is in my heart will be love for myself um, and your lips. All that I say shall be love for myself. And just remember that. Be kind to yourself. And, and I know that Teresa did say ego. And I just want to touch on that again. There's a very big difference between being egotistical and just really, truly loving yourself. Um, it is so important to love yourself. And, and I find that is the most important thing that we can do is just truly, truly love ourselves. So I just wanted to leave that with you is kind and loving thoughts of yourself. Fill your heart with kindness and love for yourself and speak only kindness and love for yourself today. And yeah, thank you for being here with me. And I hope you all have a lovely evening for those of you that are going to sleep. Um, and for those of you that are waking up, I hope today brings lots of joy and love your way. Thank you. Thank you.